Greetings, in this video I'm gonna help you fix an Amazon Fire tablet that is not responding to touch anymore. You, you keep touching it, tap, 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 and nothing comes on. You can't get it to work to save your life. I want here, here to help you fix the problem. First thing I want you to do is make sure that there's nothing in or around the tablet. So if you have anything connected, any power cords, anything like that, make sure everything's uh, taken out of it. Um, if you have a hard case that's around it, protecting like a leather case, go ahead and remove it and then see if that will fix the issue. A lot of times you'll see that that will 100% uh, fix the issue. Now, after you've done that, next thing I want you to do is make sure that there's nothing on the screen. Is it new? Make sure that no one put like a like a screen protector on there that you like you know like smartphones that you can rip off. A lot of times that will that will impede the tablet from tapping and everything on it. Next thing what I want you to do is hard restart it. In order to do that, you're just going to hold down the power button and don't let go for like 40 seconds to a minute. And that's going to wipe out any apps that may be interfering with your screen. And then restart it and then see if that works. Um, a lot of times that right there will fix it. All right, next thing I want you to do is power it all the way down. And what I want you to do is uh, start it up in safe mode. So with safe mode, that's going to make it to where it's very minimal function, but it might be working, okay? There might be an app that's interfering with your tablet. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is hold down the power button and the volume down button, all right? So what you're going to do is hit the power button. As soon as I see a logo of the Amazon Fire, I'm going to hold down the volume button, all right? So power until I see Amazon logo. And then I'm going to hold down the volume down button. This will put it in safe mode. Okay, now, once I'm here, I'm in safe mode with limited, with limited capabilities. See if the screen responds. If the screen responds in safe mode, then you know that's good news. You know it's just an issue with an app. All right, and if that's the case, what you're going to do is go to settings, and you're going to go to apps and notifications, And you'll go to recent apps, and you want to uh, force stop anything that was recent. So, for example, if I hit Messenger, I want to force stop. Better yet, if you can uninstall something that you just put on there, and see if that will work. That may make it unfreeze. All right. Next thing I want you to do is to do a software update. So to do that, go back into settings, go all the way down where it says device options and do a system update and see if that will fix the issue with the with the with the screen freezing next thing what I want you to do is if if you tried all that and it doesn't work you'll need to do a factory restart and you'll have to do it from BIOS because I'm assuming that um, let's see here in BIOS, if you can do it from the screen, that's fine. So to do it from the screen, you just hold down the power for five seconds. And then, um, actually, no, you go to settings, go all the way down here to device options, and then you do a, uh, you do a, uh, where is it? Reset to factory defaults. Now that will wipe everything out and make it fresh like it's out of the box but that might be your only option. Or to do it directly from the screen, you might have to do it with it powered completely off because you're not able to touch the screen. All right, if that happens, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the power button and the volume up button at the same time. It's basically taking it into Google Recovery 
and you want to let go of the power when you see the Android screen. Let go, hold down, keep holding down the power up. It's going to take you to this screen. And then what I want you to do is you use the up and down volume to go to, um, where is it? Wipe data factory reset. Now, before you do that, you can go down to wipe cache partition first, which will wipe out, out any memory, the, the short-term memory. Restart it and if it'll work, see if it'll work and wipe cache partition. If it doesn't, you'll have to do a wipe data factory reset, which does wipe everything out as far as your stuff, but it'll make it like it's brand new out of the box. Now, last but not least, if you've tried all that, it re you, you do a factory reset and it um, is still freezing like that. You could do the nuclear option. This is if you're ready just to toss it. Oh, by the way, when you check one, you do the volume up and down button to select, to go to select, but you hit the pop power button to select. All right, let's select that. Um, what you can do is take it, and this is like you're ready to chuck it and put it in the trash. It's so bad that you, there's nothing that, you, that it won't work anymore. Put it in the freezer. While it's off, power it off. For 15 hours or overnight, it doesn't matter. And then, uh, hour, and it's not a, this is not a joke, by the way. This actually works to sometimes. Let it sit for room temperature. Don't plug it in. Let it sit for room temperature for about an hour. Then power it on and see if it works. Let me know in the comment section if it does. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.